everybody. I am on day number two, two, uh, for my butterfly <clears throat> 100 days, 100 day project. Yes. Um, and I have this same canvas uh, little bag and I had some ideas about it I was gonna use a, my glue gun and this yarn it's so pretty um, but I feel like it's too small to get the color that I would want to get from this so I'm saving this for a larger surface which more than likely will be a canvas Today I am going to use these Crayola uh, Colors of the World markers uh, because I really love this um, color story they've got here. Um, and so our butterfly today will be with these markers and I don't, I don't specifically I don't have a specific maybe design style in mind <clears throat> but um, I'm just gonna go with whatever comes to mind and see what comes of it so bear with me as I get these markers out um, again, going along with that model doesn't have to be perfect, it just has to be. So um, I kind of feel a little geometric, I feel a little, uh, how can I say, um, I feel like that new, I, don't, I have no idea what the uh, aesthetic is called of those new shapes they got out. But um, we're just gonna go, it'll be like organic shapes maybe they're called. Maybe they're called that. I thought about the geometric ones, but then I would have to like, I would have to for sure incorporate some gold in that, like a gold frame. I have these so that the ink doesn't go through to the other side of the canvas. So I'm just going to smooth that out so I don't get any bumps while I'm coloring or drawing. Okay. Oh, almost there. Alright, so now we have our smooth surface and I will go with the outline. And I'm not gonna even, I'm not even gonna measure. I'm gonna go with the darkest uh, shade here. But I'm, I'm not gonna measure. I'm just gonna guesstimate. That's gonna be our top. And that's gonna be the bottom of the um, thorax of the butterfly. I may just make these, well, I'm gonna wait. I know I'll make the tips out here. And then, um, sometimes you don't make the butterflies the same length, but I know usually the top wings are larger than the bottom wings. And, I mean, I'm drawing, but we're not being realistic here, so. Um, we're not doing a real realistic butterfly um, and I'm gonna make it really soft and smooth but I'm gonna get this Chris this uh, thorax in here and this guy is gonna be a little little 
little curvy. I guess I have to uh, color this one. It is not the same quality of a Sharpie marker. But if you go over it a few times, it goes in, the fabric is getting the marker. Now that I thought about it, I think these are washable. So I may not be trying to remove. Make sure I use it for something where it doesn't get too too low. So okay, let's continue. So far, and then I'll curve it here. Let's take it the same way here. That's what I was trying to. Since I know where that's at, I'm gonna go over here. And connect there. So it's not super even, but it's good enough. put it on time time lapse because I may be here for a minute let's see if I can get this somewhat balanced okay okay it's not too bad along here so now I have to do an outline and what I'm going to do is I think I like this coming out but I also like it to just connect a little bit I'm not sure why 
just feeling that right now. Maybe I'll fill it in with color, different color. I think I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I know this has to be darkened in, but I think this can go with the time lapse. Um, so I'm gonna choose some colors. I'm not sure how they look on here yet. Um, but Do I make it symmetrical? Do I not make it symmetrical? Hmm. I kind of like my symmetry. So I'm going to try it. See how it goes. Okay, so at this point, this is in dire need of some Sharpies. As you can see, the markers have pretty much bled into each other, especially down at the bottom. I did what I could. So I'm gonna go in with the brown first. Like, the thorax kept but this, and I'm going in with a um, fine uh, marker because this is all I can find at the moment. I suppose uh, I would go faster with a thicker one, but this is pretty good too. I like how I like how thin it is and accurate. It's coming out. You can see a difference immediately already. I, I'm so full of marker. I hope I don't get it on the bag. But this is definitely giving it a nice crisp line because this marker this Crayola marker bleeds on this fabric. It's not made for fabric. It's made for paper. On the paper, it does just fine. I have a video where I, uh, I drew a fashion illustration uh, from inspiration from um, some other designer that um, has a book, it's like for kids. And, um, and I used these markers on her and she came out so cute. She's super cute. I'll post that soon, as soon as I get a chance. Um, but they definitely reacted different on this cream color canvas. It is definitely a different result. I probably would have gotten better results or what I was whatever I was trying to do. <laughs> um, definitely would have gotten it with the Sharpie markers. You can see, you can totally tell the difference here. Um, you can tell in the saturation. 
you can tell with the accuracy so it's all right I wasn't going for perfect because I just am not but I completed butterfly number two for day two of my 100 day project and I almost didn't get to this one because I'm doing all kinds of other domestic chores and uh, you know responsibilities and uh, and I really really like would like to keep my word and complete this challenge um, because because I've been wanting to do art because I've been wanting to do these videos because I've been wanting to do my YouTube art channel and it's about time like no more excuses I'm ready I'm ready to give it it's like Oh yeah, it's past midnight, but it counts because I started it <laughs> before midnight. I started it around 11, 11.30, I would say. So it still counts for my day two. Um, and if you've started this 100 day challenge, uh, 100 day project, you know, I mean, from what I understand, you make the rules. But I know you're supposed to have a hundred of them. And I know like, sometimes you just can't work on it every single day, day after day. And you may go a little bit longer. I heard that in the uh, videos for the tips for doing the 100 day project. And uh, some people, you know, they go on vacation, some whatever, whatever the, the reason they might have for not being able to do it every single day and having to skip a day or two. Um, that's just beautiful how it just outlines it so crisp. I love that. Um, so, so it's all right, you know, like. I'm gonna choose not to be so hard on myself either. And you know, being hard on oneself doesn't make it any better. So be easy, be easy on yourself. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> um, yeah, I'm going to choose to be easy on myself. This is not exactly what I envisioned when I thought about uh, markering up this butterfly. But I'm, I'm happy that I did it. You know, that's what I'm mostly happy about. Like, I did it. I don't think it's that bad. I think it's all right, actually. I think that brown outline really helped. I think if I went in here with some outlines, it'll help it also. It just gives it like a cleaner definitely gives it a cleaner line. I don't see it really bleeding. Not like, not like, see, not like that marker. You know, that looks kind of cool in there. I like it in there. I have no idea how that's gotten there. Um, but it's not bad. Maybe I can uh, outline some of these circles. 
like that. That changes the look, actually. That definitely helps it. Yeah, so, Sharpie to the rescue. And it's all good. I'm glad I had brown. And I'm glad that it's a thin, fine point as well. I really like that. Yeah, I like the difference this is making for sure. Okay, folks, well, I hope you enjoyed and maybe gotten an idea of uh, a butterfly you can try out with marker, whatever, whatever colors you choose to go with. And, um, yeah, don't give up. Keep going, keep going. Because I guess if I would have stopped, if I would have stopped, I would not have tried this brown sharpie which is i love what it's doing to it it's making a such a big difference that i'm actually starting to really like this butterfly now definitely liked it i like it more than before <laughs> and it's quickly growing on me with this brown sharpie detail yep don't give up i'm not giving up i'm gonna keep going i'm gonna keep fighting i may outline some more i might outline these guys i don't know i don't want to ruin it <laughs> Um, hmm, it could make a difference though, but I like the way it looks. I like how it's blurred. I like that. Let's try, I'm gonna try to darken this maybe a little here. I know I can probably Okay, well, that's gonna be it for now. I gotta get to bed. And I gotta get my little one to bed. Yes. That happens sometimes. If I'm up, she's up. I love that brown detail in there. I see, but I like how it's like, I like how it's blurring in there like that. I don't want to mess it up. But there's nothing down here that has the little dots. And I, I feel like I still got to get some. Now, I originally had some dots here, so I am going to make them. still going and I could darken them uh, I think I want to darken them to sharpie Not too much yeah 
least there's a bit of some type of I don't know how this light pink Let's see what this does. However, let's see what it does around here. That's all right. I like that a little. Okay. It's okay. February 22. All right, y'all. Thank you for coming with me on this journey. I like it. I actually do like it. Came out better than I thought. Thanks for watching. Hope to see you again soon. Ciao.